Initiatives for the development of cooperatives started in 1941 with the National Cooperative Administration. Unfortunately, the Second World War intervened in the operation of many cooperatives. Cooperatives were once again organized after the war with the creation of the Emergency Control Administration. Under the Department of Commerce and Industry, the Cooperative Administration Office was then established. Several measures were enacted, such as the Agricultural Credit and Cooperative Financing Administration and the Code of Agrarian Reform. During the Martial Law, President Decree No. 1 abolished the CAO and organized the Bureau of Cooperative Development. The 1986 People Power Revolution made way for cooperative leaders to lobby for the adoption of a cooperative-friendly legislation. The Bureau of Agricultural Cooperatives Development was created in 1987 under Executive Order No. 116. In 1988, Senator Aquilino Pimentel Jr., heeding the call of the sector, sponsored and co-authored a bill to enact the Cooperative Code. The bill was passed and signed into law on March 10, 1990, Republic Act No. 6938 or the Cooperative Code of the Philippines and Republic Act No. 6939 or CDA Charter. Article 12 of the Philippine Constitution, or National Economy and Patrimony, states the creation of an agency to promote the viability and growth of cooperatives as instruments for social justice and economic development. Mandate of the CDA Promote the viability and growth of a cooperative as instruments of equity, social justice, and economic development in fulfillment of the mandate in Section 15, Article 12 of the Constitution. Vision an effective and efficient regulatory agency working towards the development of viable, sustainable, socially responsive, and globally competitive cooperatives. Mission To ensure the safe and sound operations of cooperatives. It is a declared policy of the state to foster the creation and growth of cooperatives as a practical vehicle for promoting self-reliance and harnessing people power towards the attainment of economic development and social justice. Republic Act 6938, an act to ordain a cooperative code of the Philippines. Republic Act 6939, an act creating the Cooperative Development Authority to promote the viability and growth of cooperatives as instruments of equity, social justice, and economic development. The Republic Act 11364, an act reorganizing and strengthening the Cooperative Development Authority. This outlines how certain activities are directed in order to achieve the goals of the Cooperative Development Authority. In pursuant to the mandate, CDA has the power and responsibility over the development, regulation, and adjudication of cooperatives. Development CDA manages training programs and awards excelling cooperatives as part of their comprehensive plans towards the development of cooperatives. They also collaborate with local and international institutions to provide quality education and training to cooperatives to ensure good governance, resource management, and effective operations. Registration and Regulation the CDA authorizes the establishment and registration of cooperatives as well as monitoring their compliance in submissions of reports and payment of fees through regular inspections. Adjudication In times of disputes between member cooperatives or breach of laws and regulations promulgated by the agency, the CDA conducts investigations and provides resolutions to resolve conflicts. If necessary, disciplinary actions or penalties are given. Governance and Administration The Board of Directors is composed of the chairperson and six members of the board. Each of the following clusters of cooperatives is represented by one BOD. Credit and Financial Services, Banking and Insurance Consumers, Marketing, Producers and Logistics Human Services, Health, Housing, Workers and Labor Service Education and Advocacy, Agriculture, Agrarian, Aquaculture, Farmers, Dairy and Fisherfolk, and Public Utilities, Electricity, Water, Communications, and Transport. The Secretaries of the Department of Trade and Industry and the Department of Interior and Local Government serve as ex-official members of the Board and may designate an alternate in a permanent capacity. The Administrator of the Authority is appointed by the President of the Philippines as recommended by the Board of Directors. 
five deputy administrators are in charge with the following specific concerns. General administration and support services, institutional development, legal affairs, registration, supervision, and examination, and credit surety fund. The authority has a central office located in Quezon City and has a total of 16 regional offices nationwide. The CDA central office coordinates with Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao. You may visit the CDA website at www.cda.gov.ph or contact the telephone numbers for more information.